So what we're gonna to do today is walk around one of the lesser known laneways called Duckball Place, which is also preceded by ACDC Laneway as well. Well, this laneway is uh, like Hosey Lane, was one of the first laneways to start with the street art as well. And a lot of the street art was born out of expressing what was happening in the political platform. A lot of the time people see the laneways and they assume that it's a bad place to be. But once they get down the laneways, they then realise you've got lovely bars, VIP restaurants as well, uh, also the street art of course. We've got Akimi Ito, who's uh, quite a well-established artist and has been for probably the past two years. Do you like the interaction with the public when you're doing your arts? I love the interaction with the public. Yeah. Uh, look, I say the art on the wall is um, the start of a broader conversation. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about street art is paint goes over paint. Yep. Nothing lasts forever. No. Everything's constantly evolving. And as an artist, that's really important yep. because you know, us artists can get a bit up ourselves. And if your stuff gets painted down in five days, yep. it teaches you to be humble. You've always painted on the streets? No, I never painted in the street before I came to Australia. I started here. I love to paint in the street because you can meet a lot of yeah. people and yeah, you can stay all day just painting and meet people in the street with music and everything. Yeah. So come along and discover Melbourne's laneways and find out why Melbourne's street art culture is so highly regarded all around the world. <laughs>